Today we are going to play the ACC Championship in a rematch game against NC State. They were definitely one of our tougher opponents this season. They didn't make it easy for this game. You guys are going to want to stick around to the end of the video because I'm going through all of my stats and each of my teammate stats as well as revealing if we won the Heisman Trophy or not. I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Let's get into it. Welcome to the ACC Championship as we are playing NC State again. We just played them two weeks ago and they gave us a pretty good game, but we definitely know what to expect now and should be able to take care of business. As we're getting on the outside, we're pitching it to King to get us started for a big play as King's fighting for extra yards. So we get this two double cloud look again. We're gonna wanna read the boundary. We could potentially have Sims, and then we'll work down a black shear. Got him. There we go. Straight into a four verts. Safety's walking down. This means it's gonna be cover three. We could have payout up the seam here. Got him. Oh, what a catch by payout. I'm thinking Gallo for an easy touchdown here on the crosser. If not, we can throw Mitchell a post. Let's throw Mitchell a post. Who makes a catch, a contested catch, but gets us the touchdown. Definitely cover six here. We can work Sims and then work back across to our dig and then down to Blackshear. Not gonna like him. Let's just take Blackshear who's uncovered right there. We might have to take Blackshear into the flat here to the left. This linebacker, our blitz is off the left side. We can replace him. If not, we can work our dig wheel concept. He blitzes, so let's replace. We'll hit Blackshear for a big play. Safety's walk up into the box. This tells me they're gonna roll the one high. Means we should have Turner one-on-one -on -one with the comeback. If not, we can work back across. We got some pressure. We're gonna have to use our legs to make a play here. We get a block. Let's truck two defenders and nearly get in the end zone, but we still get first and goal. From the two yard line, we're going with a QB sneak. Let's see if this works. It should, and we get it. Let's go. Getting our second touchdown of the game on the ground. Low safety, looks like man coverage. We could have Sims over the top if the safety stays low on Gallo. If not, we'll probably check it down to King or work our comeback. Not gonna stay low. We do have Gallo wide open on the sideline there. And I'm thinking a hearty touchdown here as long as that corner doesn't drop out into the zone. He does, we'll just work our curl flat to the boundary. Gonna come inside, we got Hardy. Who drops it? Oh my God. I can't believe that. I can't believe that just happened. And keeping NC State in the game for absolutely no reason. That should have been a touchdown. But hey, next play mentality. We're not gonna beat Hardy up too much over it. We'll start with Gallo, work down to our Y versus quarters look. Got the Y immediately, we'll hit payout for a nice easy gain, and we'll get right back into rhythm. Quarters look again, let's start with Turner to the boundary. If we have him, we can take him. If not, let's work the dig. Let's take the check down actually to Blackshear, who's wide open in the flat, brushing defenders off of him like it's nothing. Single high safety, we want payout to win on the out route here. If not, we'll drop it to Mitchell. Should win, yes he does. Give him a nice ball. He gets up the sideline for 19. Let's go to four verts here. They're rotating to one high. We could have a seam here. Let's let's read it out. Gonna have to check it down to Blackshear. See if he can get the first down. Is he gonna be able to? He does. Let's go, Blackshear. Sometimes you gotta let your playmakers make plays. Let's work Turner soft coverage to the field. We don't like it. We can work back inside to our dig. No, he's gonna win. Can he score the touchdown though? No, he nearly gets in, but it's first and goal. And we are on the absolute half yard line here. Let's check out Mitchell. And if Gallo's uncovered, we can give him a ball. Got Mitchell for a touchdown. There we go, baby. That's how you run the two minute drill at the end of the half. 21-21, NC State, really good football team. Let's continue to execute. We got single high safety cover three look. We might be able to work payout up the sideline here. Let's check it out. And it's gonna be man. Let's give him a ball over the top. Can he run under it? Yes, he can. Makes a guy miss. He's up the sideline. Safety's gonna catch him, but that's a huge play. We might have Mitchell actually. Let's check him out. We're not gonna have him. We do have a seam up the middle though. Let's make some guys miss. Nearly get in the end zone. We got read option with nobody to read. And that's the guy I guess we're supposed to be reading. Quick slants here, five man box. I'm gonna uh, wanna check this to a run, but it's a little unreliable. Let's work the double slant side. Got payout, we're not gonna be able to get, let's see if our coach wants to go for it fourth and one. He doesn't. We only take our three and we gotta go score right now because NC State is putting the pressure on. We got soft coverage to Turner, let's work that. Should have him on an out route as per usual. We're gonna put this safety to the field in a bind, work Mitchell out to Turner and we can work down the payout if we need to. Got Mitchell in the, in the seam there. 
for a big play. He's breaking a tackle and getting 29 yards. We're going to go ahead and check to four verts here because they're showing a man look. And I like our receivers versus that, their DBs all day. And we got Turner, our best guy. Where does this guy come from? Okay, so taking a look at the official film breakdown of this play, we're going to notice that the guy that makes the pick is right here on the line of scrimmage lined up over Blackshear. Safety on the hash over the middle is going to drop out to the field over the top. That should have been my first indicator that this is going to be cover two man. When I decided to throw the ball right here, he was flat footed on the inside of Mitchell. I don't think there's really any way I could have predicted he would make this incredible play. We do under throw the ball a little bit and probably could have gave it some more air, but just an incredible play by the safety there. That might be our first two interception game since I started this. I don't think I've ever had a two interception game, but regardless, we're gonna have to execute and finish this game out. We're breaking tackles and fighting for extra yards to just stay alive. Let's see uh, how this plays out. We can work our triangle over the middle here. We'll have my guy Blackshear, who's been making plays all game for us. We could possibly have Turner for a whole shot, but that safety's really far off the hash. Let's work Mitchell and check out Gallo. Let's let Mitchell get open. They're giving us all the time in the world. Let's get a nice pull read here. There we go. On the outside, we got blocks up the middle. We're gonna cut it inside. We're gonna cut it back. Do we trust Hardy again on the same exact play? I think so. We'll start with him. If we don't like it, we'll come back to the boundary. Hardy's gonna win. He's gonna make the catch this time. Corners are dropping off into a quarter's look. So let's work our dig and then down to my guy, Payout, who, or Mitchell, who's wide open. Single high look. Turner should clear out the corner and we should have Mitchell for a touchdown. We got him. Yes, sir, let's go, Mitchell. And we're taking the lead with two minutes to go. And you can't make this up, guys. Defense comes up with a huge sack fumble turnover, and we're gonna be able to keep our playoff hopes and dreams alive as we run out this clock and secure the W against NC State. We do have to get this first down, though. This is a huge first down, and we got pressed up, man to man. Let's think payout and then to Mitchell here. Gonna jump out, Mitchell routes him up. Who better than to secure the W than James Mitchell, our leading receiver on the year. And that's going to do it, guys, as we secure another ACC championship trophy. Here's the finishing stat line. We went 30 of 36, 423 yards passing, three passing touchdowns, 60 rushing yards, and a rushing touchdown. We did have two picks. Hey, but man, we still managed to get that win. That's most important. I believe James Mitchell had all three of our passing touchdown receptions. And I'm really looking forward to playing in the college football playoffs. A lot of you guys mentioned you want to see some stats. So here we are. We went 357 for 429 with 5,000 yards passing, 50 passing touchdowns. I believe we did have five INTs, which isn't great, but a completion percentage of 83%, which is awesome. We did lead the team in rushing as well with 151 attempts and 1,000 yards rushing 20 touchdowns on the ground james mitchell as expected was our leading receiver with 91 receptions a thousand yards receiving 14 touchdowns turner is a close second as far as yards go he didn't have as many touchdowns but hey we spread the ball around pretty nicely for a lot of our guys and that is a sign of a great quarterback gotta show love to the o-line they always make the offense go and in my opinion they are the most important position on the offense we couldn't have made it this far without this o-line we definitely want to show our appreciation to them now for the moment you've all been waiting for did we win the heisman trophy oh my god bro we completely got stiffed for the heisman there is no way that happened. You can't tell me I had 5,000 yards passing and 1,000 rushing with 70 total TDs and I still didn't win the Heisman? Oh my goodness, that's a joke. Hey, could this be a sign to play a third season with this quarterback? Let me know in the comments section below, guys. Regardless, the most important thing on our mind right now is winning that national championship. That is something within our control, and we're gonna focus on that in next week's episode. We did win the Maxwell Award, we did win the Walter Camp Award, and we won the O'Brien, but no Heisman, man. Oh, Heisman, oh, that's crazy.